It all has to balance each other. Hey, it's Sha, and welcome to episode four of Throwing with Sha. Uh, today we are going to be trimming the teapots one, two, and three that we threw in the last three episodes. So I will meet you down at the wheel to do that. Woo! Just a little bit damp still. That lid's stuck in place. Um, so I'm just going to let them sit in the sun for 10, 15 more minutes just to dry them out a little bit more before we start on the trimming process. We want them to be at a leather stage. Um, at the moment, I would say that these are sort of leather soft. Um, you can see that the, especially the edge here is still quite malleable. So just um, yeah, 15 or so more minutes before we'll be ready to trim them. Okay, so the teapots have been sitting out in the sun for an hour or so now. Um, Basically, what we can see is that I've got two lids and two spouts for these two and just one lid and one spout for the last one because I ran out of clay. Um, so at this point, before I go into trimming on the wheel, what I want to do is just pick which lid um, I'm going to use. Now, as I said in the first video, I'm a little bit clumsy, so I've sort of wrecked this one, although I don't really like using the drop lid anymore so um, I'll most likely use this lid um, for this piece here. Um, I think I decided it'll be this piece, this lid here for this um, this pot and obviously only having the one lid I don't have much choice but that's quite a nice fit anyway. So what we'll do now is move the pots over and over onto the wheel and we'll get trimming. The first thing we trim is the lid. So we stand the pot the right, right way around and we trim the lid. Um, and then we come back and we trim the, the base of the pot. Okay, so you're gonna need a little bit of clay, um, a chuck. So a chuck is just a piece of clay that you've thrown on the wheel that's got a flare either side. Um, and this just means you can flip the teapot over and you're not going to wreck that valley that we've done at the top it will just sit on the inside of either side of this whichever side it fits in better um, and that'll just preserve that delicate work we did at the top um, finally you're going to need just a couple of really sharp nice trimming tools this one's my new one this one's my old one um, I just like to keep the old one around can't let go all right, so we'll stick the first teapot on and we'll start trimming. So we'll trim them in the order that we threw them. This being the first teapot from the first video. So we just need to try and get that in the center ready to trim this lid. So we can see that's not quite it. So the first thing we're going to trim is this lid section, but to be able to do that we need to stick the pot down as well. So we'll just take some sausages of clay and just stick those around the bottom once we've got the teapot in the right place. Now because this is a little bit sticky still, I might get away with not putting any clay around the top here. Sometimes you'll just need to stick the lid in place. But it's just much the same as sticking the teapot body in place on the wheel. We just use a couple of little sausages of clay just in case. So just want to think about what we're trying to do here. So we know this is the lid of the teapot. So what we're trying to do is just make like a nice little knob to be able to grab onto. Um, so it's just a matter of just trimming away an area of clay um, and just making it smaller and smaller. Sort of like when you're cutting the foot into a pot. And you can see now we've got this prominent sort of knob that's sticking up. So we can just trim the rest of the teapot lid to sort of match that. Cool. 
cool. Um, So you can see here, you can sort of trim a design into it if you want. I'm sort of leaving it up there just because I've got these bits of clay that are stuck on the outside. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just trim that down once I've taken those bits of clay off. But I just get all of this nice and neat before I do that. So I'm liking that enough to get rid of these little outside bits of clay here. And now I've got this nice knob that I can push down on and give a little bit of pressure so my lid's not going to move as I'm doing this outside section. Excellent, so pretty happy with that. I feel like uh, I can just take a little bit more of this outside, get that nice and smooth again. And what we want is for the lid to sort of flow into the shape of the rest of the pot and not stand up too prominent. So. I'm fairly happy with that. We can see we've got like a nice little knob on the top of the lid there that we're able to grab onto and then that lid sits really quite snugly in the top of that pot there. So that I am happy with and we will now flip it over and we'll trim the underside of the pot. So we'll just pop the lid off and to one side. remove these little sausages of clay and just flip the pot upside down. So you can see here we've got this really delicate rim so the idea of having the chuck is that we can pop the chuck down and then the pot actually sits rather than on that delicate rim it's actually sitting on this outside edge here in the um, in the curve of the chuck and that just means then that that's not going to move anywhere we just have to get that nice and flat so ideally we want the chuck in the middle first which is guesstimated quite well so we want to just check that that part is sitting flat which it's not This is a little bit of trial and error until you've got, got the bottom of the pot sitting as flat as you can. So I'm fairly happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is just put some little clay bats around the bottom of the chuck so that can't move and then I'm just going to grab a few more and these ones just go in this top section here and that just means that the teapot body then can't move as we're trying to trim it and this is all just to preserve that delicate top. So we're just going to trim the bottom like we would any other piece. Um, maybe being a little conservative on um, how much I take away. 
Um, I like to, the teapot to have quite a thick, a thick base so it sits nicely on the table. got a nice little foot and we've got a nice little rim. We'll pop the lid on and now that one is ready for assembly. These pots are all trimmed in exactly the same way. Um, there's really no special techniques to um, trimming a teapot other than using our good friend Chuck. Chuck helps us out. So just getting this one in the center, much the same as the last one, just checking and then altering, checking again with the finger. If you uh, are interested in me making a video on how to get things in the center, both the clay and um, as you're trimming, just let me know. I'm more than happy to do more videos. And then we're just coming in and we're trimming this uh, lid here. Yeah. around the edge just to um, make sure that lid's not going to be moving around as we're trimming it. And we just come in exactly the same as we did before and we're just taking that lid into a centre and making a little knob. And I'm pretty happy with that, so we can just take this pot off and we'll just flip him upside down and get that lid out. Oh, just be a little bit careful as you're doing that, not like I did. And we can see now that that lid is perfect. So, more carefully this time, we'll get that lid out and then we'll pop the pot in the chuck so we don't ruin this nice little lip here and um, get it ready just fix this lid up <laughs> and we'll trim the bottom so exactly the same again we'll just pop the chuck here and give that a quick test. Perfect. Okay. 
So once again, we want to just stick that chuck in place and then we want to come in and stick the teapot burden in place as well. And by doing this, this bottom section can't move, this top section can't move and that means nothing is going to be moving as we're trimming this bottom section away. And like when you're trimming everything, we're not trying to take huge amounts off in one go. It's just a little process of time, time, just taking a little bit at a time. the shape a little bit more now I don't want a little flare before the foot I'm looking to have a nice sort of tapered base and probably won't even have a prominent foot that sticks out on this um, and I'll just sort of cut away um, clay from the center section here whereas I'll leave I'll leave the out <laughs> Excellent, so I'm happy with that. So we'll just take those little bits of clay off and we can take those ones from around the bottom. And that's teapot number two trimmed and ready to be assembled. So you can see it's got it's got a inverted foot in there, but it's just not shown on the outside. Pop this lid back on. And he's ready then to be assembled. That's the final teapot to be trimmed is this one. We're just trying to get that in the center so we can get this lid nice and trimmed up before we flip it over. So let's get this one stuck down. And then we'll just come in and we'll take our tool to this lidded section here. And with this one, I'm not really trying to make a knob as such. Um, I'm just sort of taking away some of the thickness from the chop here and then I'll be adding a knob at another knob at a later date. Excellent. 
it. So you can see that nice, uh, nice trim top there. So we'll be adding a knob to that when we're assembling the pot later. And we'll just trim the bottom of the teapot now. So we'll just flip that lid back out. And we'll just bring Chuck back over. And even cut a foot into the bottom of this one, just mainly to do with the shape of it. Um, it's not the ideal shape. So I'm just gonna round off the corner here not the ideal shape for a foot it is the ideal shape for a teapot however and you know you always get to peek from the shape of whatever you've made what the foot's meant to look like what the lid's meant to look like what the spout's meant to look like and they're all it all has to balance each other Ultimately, I am happy with that. So, that's that teapot all trimmed and ready to be assembled. Woo! Cool, so uh, thanks for watching guys. If you like this content and you like this channel, please like and subscribe. Um, if you want to comment down below, please do. If you've got ideas of things you want to see me make or you want to see on the wheel, um, just let me know. Um, I'm always happy to hear what um, you guys want me to do. So uh, yeah, catch you soon.